Okay, so for the next part of this lesson, it um, involves creating a layer mask. And um, this is instead of using the eraser tool because we just learned how to erase backgrounds with the different types of erasers, but the problem with that is you can't unerase them. Yes, you can go edit, undo, and start all over again, but the nice thing about a layer mask is that you can paint away its... Here, let me read the definition. Okay, so in the book it says, a mask is an overlay that hides portions of the layer. So you're painting on this like layer of invisibility. And then what happens is if you paint on too much, you can paint it off again. And with the eraser tool, you cannot do that. Once it's erased, it's erased. And you can go back in time, yes, but then you're going back in time, you might be undoing some other parts of the image that you want to keep, if you know what I mean. Um, so the layer mask is really the way to go. I, I don't think I would ever really use the eraser tool. I'd rather use a layer mask for most of my work because I want that ability to go back and edit again the image, like add more or take away more, either way. And I'm going to show you that in just a moment here. This is an example of what we're about to do. So here we have the um, before image and then we're trying to, whoops, if I go over to my finished example, we're trying to create just a pot, no plant. So we're going to take the plant away. And yes, we could erase it, but what if we decided later that we wanted the plant back? So um, then you could always have the information. It's not going to it's not gonna be gone. You can put it back whenever you want to. So first I move the plant over into my living room layer. And um, now I add a mask. And there's a little icon in your layers panel in this bottom row here. And it's the one that's like a rectangle with a little circle in it and it says add layer mask. Make sure you're on the right layer. I should probably call this um, pot. Something to remember it by and change the color. Maybe I'll make it orange. I don't remember what the book had. Um, and then, let's see, yes, hit layer mask and it adds an extra thumbnail. And once you have these two thumbnails, you need to be very aware of which thumbnail is highlighted. Like right now there are these like brackets around the thumbnail for the layer mask. But um, if I wanted to edit the actual image, then I need to make sure I click and select the image. I'm going to go back to the, the layer mask thumbnail. And with layer masks, instead of grabbing the eraser tool, you actually grab a paintbrush. And you're going to be painting with white and black, your default foreground and background colors. And white, let's see if I paint with white, okay, white reveals and black hides. So in order to switch, um, right now because my white is in front, in order to switch I can hit X on my keyboard and now black is in front in the tool toolbar here. And then if I click on the leaves it starts erasing them, but not really. It's hiding them. I'm painting on an overlay that hides the leaves. But if I want it, if I don't like what I just did, I can go back and switch, press X on my keyboard again. And now I'm now the white color is in front, the white swatch, and I can paint it back on. And this is extremely useful. Because say you you um edited all this area over here, like in black, you edited it out exactly the way you wanted, and then you zoomed in and realized that you wanted a little bit more over here. Um, with the eraser tool, you're going to have to undo everything you did up to that point, but with the mask tool, you can just start in that one little section, switch brushes, and add it back on. Not that that's the goal for this particular image, but um, yeah, in this situation, Another way that I would do it is just select this whole area and then you can fill that area. I just selected it with the rectangle and marquee. Actually, I'm going to make it a bigger selection and just fill by going option. Oh, make sure that your height, your black layer is in front. So hit X on your keyboard if black's not in front. 